This is our story about going to Kosovo. In the second part of our documentary, we take you to places you would have never expected to find in Kosovo. My favorite we show you unique Balkan highlights like Prisren and Rugova. And we bring you closer to daily life in Kosovo, which is a land of undiscovered beauty and fantastic people. If there is one place you need to see in Kosovo, it's Bristren. The iconic stone bridge, the mosque and the mountains are the landmark of the city and you can't get enough of the scenery. Bristren is the second largest city in Kosovo, located in the south and a picture-perfect place. We walk up to the Kalaya fortress for an epic view over the city. From the top we see wonderful Prisren and hear the call to prayer resonating from every corner. The old town with its cobblestone streets is full of cafes and restaurants. Time to enjoy dinner in a traditional place. We have a typical spread of roasted peppers with pitalka bread, olives, salad and then chicken in a creamy sauce and vegetable casserole. And we enjoy beer from Peja and wine from Rahovec, both regions we will visit later. If you've never tried Raki, a traditional grape brandy, you'll be on fire. It's really strong and we were pretty tipsy afterwards. Ice cream, yes, please. Yes, please. Vanilla. Come on, please. Oh, oh, oh my God. Come on. Oh my God. Ice cream. Oh my God. Yes, please. Oh my Ice cream. Oh my God. Come on. Oh my God. Christian is considered Beautiful. one of Kosovo's most diverse cities in terms of people, religion, culture, and food. Here we have fun with a Turkish ice cream seller. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh -huh. No! Uh, uh, uh. Oh, come on, please! No. Come please. on, please! Opa! Oh my goodness! Oh! Enjoy oh. your ice cream! Mm. Lovely! Monuments like this recall Kosovo's past. To learn more, check out our first Kosovo video. Shinan Pasha Mosque is Kosovo's largest mosque, dating back to the Ottoman era. The countless gold and jewelry shops in Brisbane caught our attention, so we take a look inside. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm really, like to see. I'm really impressed by the gold. You have so much gold here. Yes. We in Kosovo have very traditional about gold. We have a traditional uh, money. 
gold money. Oh, okay. Yes. So this you this present from for Turkey. Ah, okay. This is lira. Uh -huh. They put, they buy so, so many, and they put in a like traditional for uh, in dressing. Okay, the dressing for the girl or for yeah, the for man? for the girl. For the girl. For the girl. Uh -huh. And we have. This. I'm wondering what kind of model the girls here like best. What style? The girl, the see the summer trend. This mm -hmm. summer is um, the com, uh, Cuban bank. Okay. It's also a uh, huh? Europeanish model. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. See, oh, this, we is nice. say, this is very nice. I like it very much. Flex with mm -hmm. this place with stones. With How them. much does it cost? What's the most expensive one? For for example, this is for four thousand. Okay. Thank you. This is the way a traditional Kosovo Albanian bridal costume looks like. Besides traditional clothing, there are also other dresses Kosovo ladies love. Let's see. This would be my favorite one. The stores in Brisbane are a paradise if you are looking for an amazing dress. And the prices are fair compared to similar costumes in the US or somewhere else. Time to explore Kosovo's splendid nature. An hour's drive from Prisren in the Gyakova region, we discover this gorgeous place by the White Drain River. The old stone arch bridge called Sacred Bridge and the White Drain Canyon are an eye candy. Western Kosovo lies the Djani, a Serbian Orthodox UNESCO monastery, which is guarded by the Kafur mission. We were not allowed to film inside, so we can only give you a small glimpse. We arrive in Peja and have some traditional food from the wood fired oven. Ah, this is the Rugova cheese. This came from the open fire. Breakfast is served, typically in Kosovo, with coffee, scrambled eggs, salami, cheese and bread. Just outside of Peja, the unique nature wonderland of Rugova Valley opens up to us. We drive high up into the region of the accursed mountains, also known as the Albanian Alps. This tip from one of our friends in Peja to drive here 12 kilometers and then nine kilometers in the mountains and now we've reached this magical place over the tops guess how high we are I don't you know 1500 600 1850 wow. meters high that's luck Podi. Like in our home in, yeah, like in Switzerland. Our home. <laughs> Podi Jakupit. 
This plateau, Podi Jakobit, is a spectacular place for hikes. We enjoy a magnificent view of Heiler Peak with an altitude of over 2,400 meters, one of the highest mountains in Kosovo. We are truly enchanted by Kosovo. What's your opinion about Kosovo? We would love to hear it. You are welcome to share your thoughts with us in the comments. Back down, we explore more of Rugova Valley's stunning beauty. The Rugova Canyon is one of the most popular tourist destinations in Kosovo. It's located at the foot of the gigantic Rugova Mountains in the northwestern part of Kosovo, close to the border with Montenegro. If Kosovo has caught your interest, check out our video about Kosovo's capital Pristina and Kosovo's past and today's life. We are back in Peja. As often in Kosovo, there is an issue with stray dogs, which are close to our hearts. Aim of this. <laughs> we get a glance of the old bazaar and see once again the traces of the tragic history. We smell the flavors of the old town and discover its people and bars. We are heading to our last destination. Kosovo's famous wine region, Rahovec. If you're a wine lover or just like to visit beautiful landscapes, then this is the place to be. We also wanted to go to the northern part of Kosovo, but time was short. So we will come back to Kosovo, which treated us with great hospitality. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and don't forget to let us know your feedback.